Good morning, Year 7, and welcome to our uh, penultimate week's assembly. Um, this morning, I want you to watch this short clip from Shrek and see what you think our assembly may be about. And then, why may I be focusing on this subject today? Just gonna have to be a different man Time may change me But I can't trace time Oh, tell Princess Fiona her husband, Sir Shrek, is here to see her Still don't know what I was looking for And my time was running wild A million dead end streets Every time I thought I got it made It seemed the taste was not so sweet ch 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 Don't wanna be a rich one Time may change me So hopefully, some of you guessed the subject of change, but before we explore this topic, here are some messages for this week. This week, you will log onto your live lesson period one, which is 8.50 or 10 to 9. Just think, two more weeks of early starts and then you have six weeks to relax. Remember, don't log on to your live lesson too early and make sure you are respectful at all times. This is what I require of you as Year 7 students at the Hermitage. Remember to pop your name in the chat for the register, otherwise you may be marked absent. Your work is posted on each subject's team. So, if you are navigating the system by looking first at assignments, it may seem that you have no work. Go into the subject team, which is usually on the left hand side if you're using a laptop and it may be on the bottom if you're using a phone and your work for the day will be explained in the post, in the kind of posts that come up on that team. Next week, I will focus my assembly on a success. So don't think that your contributions have gone unnoticed. Some of you may have received postcards or awards during lockdown and some of you would have gained subject awards and laureate certificates before the school closed to most of you. So these will be acknowledged in our last assembly next week. On the screen now you will see some pictures. These are all pictures of things around the world this ac academic year that have changed. So in the time you have been in year seven all these things have occurred. Some of these changes have been positive. I love being able to watch plays, which I would have had to go all the way to London to actually see. And I love how everyone supported the NHS during the crucial months when they were under so much pressure. Some of these changes, however, have been devastating. The bushfires in Australia and the deaths caused by the coronavirus pandemic. Think about what else has changed in your life over this time. As you grow older, you will realise that life is constantly changing for everyone. Some of us in small ways, such as changing your school bag at the start of the new school year. But for others, there may be bigger changes, such as changing groups or changing friendships. Some of you may have moved home. Some of you may have not moved home, but someone might have moved into your horse, house. All these things can seem frustrating, uncertain, and therefore scary. When you return to school in September, there will be normal changes such as classes, teachers. Some part of the school may have changed slightly, new paint, signs and resources. What is different this September is that we have added changes because of COVID-19. We as your teachers do not know exactly what these changes may look like yet, but what I can tell you is that we are all 
very good at dealing with change quickly. So we can help you do the same. Look at the above images about what may change when you come back into September. You may see that there are hand washing, regular hand washing routines. Um, you might find that there are additional one way systems in school and all of you will be excited about the new school uniform. We are very excited to see you in it. I think it's a fantastic representation of our school and the pride that we have in our school. Change can be difficult for everyone. It is a process and we all act differently when we are confronted with change in our lives. Some of us may say something like, bring it on, if we were asked to do something different or something has changed. But most of us will feel some of the emotions in the Kubler-Ross curve above. If you look closely at the curve, you will see one startling feature that may not be noticeable at first. Most of us will focus on the dip or the depression, which is natural. But what many of us will not see is the end of the process is higher on the scale of morale and confidence. Morale just means a sense of good, feeling good. When we overcome our initial negative emotions to change, it helps us to grow in confidence because we realize that things may be different, but it doesn't necessarily mean that they are worse. Think about changes big and small that you have encountered in your life so far. What did you learn about yourself from those changes? Coming to secondary school would have seemed exciting, daunting, uncertain, and if we are all honest, a little scary. Yet you learn to adapt and adapt quickly. Watch this short video. Not everyone deals with change the same way, and that is very important for us to understand. What kind of tea is appropriate for winning a Nobel Prize and now everything is changing and you feel unmoored from reality? I don't know, Earl Grey? You know, this is something I've wanted my whole life, but I guess I never considered how everything would be different. Buddy, I, I know it all feels overwhelming right now, but I promise you, things will settle down. There's no Earl Grey, you filthy liar! <laughs> hey, is Benny here? No, why? I wanted to show my latest creation. I give you Dr. Amy Farrell Fowler. Wow, Amy, you look amazing. Thank you. Sheldon, what do you think? I like you better the way you were. But she looks beautiful. Classic lines, colors that complement her skin tone, and hair that goes from office to on the town in minutes. I don't care. Put it back. I like the way I look. Well, I don't. My fault. I was out of Earl Grey. <clears throat> Sheldon, that was really rude. Oh, I'm sorry. Amy is the one constant I can count on, and now she's changing. It's just a haircut and some clothes. No, it's the last straw. I can't take any more. Can you believe it? They finally fixed the elevator. <laughs> okay, this is a nightmare. What's with him? He won a Nobel Prize and his wife looks amazing. Oh, yeah, got it. <laughs> It's really fast. I, I need to be alone right now. Don't try to follow me. All right, you need a ride? That'd be great, thank you. I should have seen this coming. Oh, stop, you're allowed to get a haircut. I know, but I should have done it gradually. You know, like... Maybe 300 tiny haircuts over a 10-year period. 
Okay, you need to focus on the positive. You won a Nobel Prize. I slapped Sheldon. A lot of dreams came true today. You know, you're right. This is a huge day for me, and I'm allowed to enjoy it without worrying how it's going to affect my husband. Was it me, or did it just get fierce in here? <laughs> if you ever feel overwhelmed by change, I always think it is good to put your worries into perspective. One way to do this is to look at stories about others who have overcome change. The first story is of the Olympic athletes. These athletes all share one feature. They all had to change from being able-bodied to coping with a major life-changing disability. Prince Harry started the Invictus Games in 2014 as a way for ex-services personnel to compete and for something good to come from something so life-changing. The word Invictus is Latin for undefeated, which is one key aspect of change we always need to remember. Billy Munger's story, which you may want to look into in more detail, is a truly inspirational one. He was a very successful Formula 4 motorsport driver. He won his first Formula 4 championship at the age of 16 and was tipped to be the next Lewis Hamilton. But then tragedy struck. There was an accident and Billy woke up to having lost both his legs. A documentary of his recovery shows how he not only had to cope with the changes to his body, but cope with his hopes for Formula One being destroyed. Billy's positivity in the way he has used this life-changing event to build a new career is unbelievably powerful. Billy's story shows how change should be embraced. Not everyone can Help, which can be very hard. Often friends and family want to help but this can be difficult. Sometimes they might not know what you need. Try not to think though, oh if he she really cared about me they would know what I need. Most people aren't mind readers and coping with change takes time and patience. And learn how to tell people if the support you are getting isn't the support you need. For example, friends and family may want to wrap you up in cotton wool and do everything for you, but it can be important to take risks and feel discomfort as part of your recovery. If you are nervous about talking directly to a friend, family member or teacher, there's lots of other support too. Couth is a great website recommended by GPs, ran by anonymous online counsellors who are specifically trained to help teenagers who need it. So everyone, the message is that change is constant. Change can be very, very disturbing and create sense of excitement and fear. And everybody responds to change differently. But finally, if you are struggling coping with change, any changes in your life, there is help and support.